<clears throat> Alright, what's up guys? Cars here from Blade Hacks. So today we're going to talk about a slight issue that I'm having, which is the Rochi's cuff is malleable, bendable, it's it's not performing right. Um, I think I know what the issue is, but I'm not exactly sure. So right now I'm skating the size 8-9 shell uh, reds, which I think is the first fifth element they brought out. And what's happening is, I'm not sure if you can see, but basically the cuff is not only moving a whole lot, but it, it just, it feels really, really flimsy. I don't think it's a product flaw, but I think uh, because of my size and I guess my skating, not having a, a solid cuff screw in here is causing a problem. So today I'm going to show you how to remove the, I guess, pop rivet type uh, attachment that they have here and uh, put in a, I think I'm going to use a razor's cuff screw and uh, connector. Now, this can also be useful if you want to change uh, to a different cuff. Like, like I said, I got a, a larger shell here that unfortunately is too big for me. Uh, I'm going to use that cuff, so it is going to give it a cool different color. But the biggest thing again for me is I want it to have more hold so that I have more control when I'm, when I'm skating. All right, so once the screw comes apart, I should say this, the, the rivet that they used, this is, this is what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna start from the beginning. You probably wanna take your liner out of your skate. It would be pretty, pretty bad to put a hole in there, I think. Especially if you got a rain liner like me, it's another 80 bucks. All right, so first step, Take a fairly small drill bit, nothing, nothing big here, as you can see, it's very, very small. So I'm going to connect that to my power drill, and I'm going to focus right on the center of where the cuff screw is going to go. All right, so that's our first hole. Now it's not perfectly centered, but it'll get the job done. All right, next I'm going to go with a slightly larger, maybe twice the size, drill bit. Again, just follow the hole, let the drill kind of just take you there. So not too difficult that time the, the most difficult is probably the first time um, and then next this is this is probably the only one where I'd say the size kind of makes a difference this is a 5 16th so again 5 16th this one matches the inside of this rivet and so what that does is it will let it just basically push right out of there You can see that it's, it's turning with me, meaning I'm, I'm exactly where I need to be. And see, pulled it out. Ooh, it's hot. Okay. Came right out. And if you look, I barely put any damage in here. Just just a little bit. So the original drill bit that I'm using is slightly smaller than this hole. So again, that's a 5 16th for your final step. I do that on all four sides, and then I'll show you the rest after you do that. All right, so we got the uh, all the cuffs off of my two large shells that I'm not using which will be the black cuffs from the Boyo shell. And then I took the original cuffs off that are 
in my opinion, very unsturdy and bendable. So they fit on just fine. So going from a, a nine shell to the large shell, everything fits the way it needs to fit. If you look here, it'll still bend and everything's fine. Uh, I do think the aesthetics is drastically increased by doing this. We shall see. I might even have to change the laces again. Uh, now, for the inserts, I think the easiest way to do it would be using the Colt inserts. They are very similar to the ones on the Razor's SL, only that they do not have the little lip here. They should just be the, the black ones with just the circle that go on there. So there's probably different skates and different models of things that will go right in here without a problem. Uh, I do not have any of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is increase the hole towards the inside. So drill it just a little bit this way so that when this goes in here, it's going to fit right in there. So I'm basically adding that little lip right here into it. All right, so I'm gonna use a slightly smaller drill bit just in case I make a mistake here. Okay. Now I'm looking over this just a little bit to kind of get a feel for where I need to go. And Uh, yeah, watch the shoelaces. <laughs> okay. So again, it's probably better to go slow when doing this. Because in this case, you don't want to do too much. Rather too little. So I feel, feel close. And looking at it, looks like it went in there pretty good. If you look at the inside here, it's sitting in there just fine. Uh, a little bit of an angle, but actually that's a good thing. And so, you can see there's a little bit of uh, some space there. But once I pull that cuff screw tight, it'll probably pull that right in. And it doesn't look like it offset from the center at all. So... All right, so we got uh, both pieces in in the first skate. This one here, uh, I'm not sure if it went in all the way, but I don't want to drill anymore. I'm going to try to see if we can just squeeze it in the plastic because I feel like I made a little bit of a mistake. So again, this is this is where taking your time is very important. Uh, again, I got these off of the Razors. All right, so again, I got these off the Razors SL. These are the Razor screws. There's an R on there. Since it's an R, it's kind of like Rochi's, right? So they're just going to go in there and tighten. And hopefully the cuff sits the way it needs to. Uh, the only thing here, make sure you're, you're focusing on the right cuff. Buckle to the outside where the Rochi's label is. So I'm going to hold that. I'm just going to hand tighten a little bit on this side. Same with uh, this side here. Make sure you get that angle right, because I want to make, I want to be positive that I got that uh, the hole where, right where it needs to be. It feels pretty good. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to slowly tighten them up. I'm gonna kind of go hand tight first because again, I don't want the cuff to offset. I wanna make sure, you can already see it bending here a little bit. I'll make sure I'm getting that cuff in there correctly. So I wanna pull it in there into place. All right, 
Now I can go ahead and tighten it down. Same here. Okay. Now I can already see that this is pretty close to where it needs to be. But most importantly, it is very difficult for me to bend this up and down. For my type of skating and my style, again, probably because I'm a lot taller than most people, I need this to be very, very tough. And it is feeling very good right now. From an aesthetic point of view, again, I think the cuff makes a huge difference. Uh, and the screw gives it just a little bit more of that look. So let's put my liner back in there. Alright, so my setup with the with the rain liners and I got white laces. Um, so if you look at it now, close the buckle. It's kind of difficult to do when it's not on your feet. <laughs> okay, so buckle's closed. Here you go. guys so we tested out the new version of my Rochi's uh, fifth element red which has now got the blue cuff on it um, I only tested out on a rail today but I noticed it the minute I put these on and rolled down the hill that it is it is more sturdy so I can't say for sure if it was a cuff because the other the other cuff was pretty old maybe it just weathered but I think adding these cuff bolts in here allows less plastic to, to get over and bend. Um, so I feel a lot, a lot better and uh, hope this helps if you are trying to change it for aesthetics or for more hold or anything. Uh, if you got any questions, you know, leave them in the comments. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.